for problem 35, for some constant c, the line y is equal to 4x plus c is tangent to the graph of f of x equals x squared plus 2. What is the value of c? So essentially, we have this function where this line is tangent to it at some point. And what we can recall about the derivative of a function is that the derivative is essentially an equation that gives us the slope of the tangent line at any value of x. So if we were to find the derivative of this function, we could set that equal to the slope of this line, which is 4, since that's the coefficient on x, and solve for which value of x that we end up with the slope of 4. So let's first take the derivative of this function f of x. So taking the derivative, we bring down the 2 for the exponent and subtract the exponent by 1, and then the derivative of a constant is just 0. So this function's derivative is simply 2x, and we want to set this equal to the slope of this tangent line, since the derivative is, like I said, an equation that gives us the slope of the tangent line at any value of x. So setting the derivative equal to 4, we can solve for x by dividing each side by 2, such that x is equal to 2, so at an x value of 2, the slope of the tangent line is equal to 4. Now, to figure out what c is, we also need to know when x is equal to 2, what is the y value equal to? And to figure that out, we can just plug 2 in to f of x. So f of 2 is just 2 squared plus 2, and 2 squared is 4, so f of 2 is 6. So essentially what we figured out is that this function goes through the point 2, 6. And at this point, there's a line tangent to the function with this equation here. And now that we know the x and y values that this tangent line goes through, we can figure out what c is. So essentially, we just need to replace y with the value 6 and x with the value 2 and solve for c. So y is 6, and this equals 4 times an x value of 2 plus c. So we have 8 plus c here, and subtracting 8 from each side, we get that c is negative 2. So in this line here, when c is negative 2, this line is exactly tangent to this function at an x value of 2. So c is negative 2, and that is the final answer.